Hey guys, so I'm going to be continuing talking about convex in today's video. This is the one command to have auth, Next.js, and a database like that. The only thing that's missing from this is, of course, payment and Stripe. It's not that hard to add Stripe to this project afterwards, but I am just trying to work on a better system to adding payments. Let's talk about it. So the first thing, obviously, we're going to go to my terminal. I did change the look of my terminal. This was an accident, but I actually really, really like uh, this look, right? So let's just do mkdir um, video convex, cd video convex, right? And then literally, you just need to run this one command, npx create convex latest. We call this video convex. You want to go to Next.js app router. The reason being, obviously, React is good, but... I kind of, I'm kind of going down the Next.js route just because it has SEO built into it. And then you want to select auth kit here. You can do convex auth, you can do clerk, but if you do auth kit, it's super simple, super easy. Now, one really cool thing is it does seem to actually install cursor rules for this project. Now, if these cursor rules do include information on how to add Stripe to the project, then it might be best to use cursor instead of Claude code. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it yet. Okay, so now what we do from here, we do CD video convex and then npm run dev. This will start the project and also allow you to create a new convex project, right? So we want to do cloud, etc., etc. We're almost done already, okay? Literally, we're almost done already. So this will open the convex project, right? And then you can see here 3001 local host. Okay, so we are less than 30 seconds into this project, and we already have Convex, Next.js, and WorkOS. WorkOS is basically our auth, right? So if I do sign up here, remember this is a brand new project, and it already has OAuth configured and working, right? If you guys know how difficult it is... Okay, that's weird. Uh, if you guys know how difficult it actually is... Oh, okay, because I'm on 3000. There we go. Uh, to add OAuth, if you know how hard it is to add OAuth, you'll know how powerful this actually is. Just before we continue, guys, if you're curious and you want to ha uh, work with me and my team, we have two full-time developers working for us, and also myself, who is an AI, I don't want to say dev, but whatever. If you have an MVP or something that you want automating in your business, come and talk to us today, or if you want SEO done for your business, Come and talk to us today. We're looking for a few more projects for the end of 2025. So basically, there is a link to speak with myself and my business partner, Rowan, in the, the description of this video. Just book a call, guys. Come and talk to us, and we'll see what we can do together. Also, just if anyone cares about old school RuneScape, guys, y yesterday I did one hard clue scroll and got Ancient Dehyde Boots. And even better than that, I finally got the kudung kudung. The dual Makua T, I don't have no idea how to even pronounce that shit, from the Lunar Chest, which is a massive upgrade for our Iron Men. That is Boy Leg, that's my boy right there, Ollie, my best friend IRL. Um, and he is currently rocking the golden apron that he got from a clue scroll and also the cape that he got from the clue scroll. Anyway, not relevant to what we're talking about. Okay, so from here, guys, you actually have a few different options. First of all, you can say add a random number, right? So five, zero. And then if you go to data here, you'll see these two values have now been added. So this is proof that the database is actually connected, right? Now, what I like to do and what you guys should probably do is look at the templates, right? So there's a few different things here. There's convex docs, there's templates, right? I really, really like going on templates here and looking to see if there's anything that we need right here. So this one, for example, has resend inside it, an open source starter kit based on open source starter kit by midday, ported to convex, everything you need to build a production ready uh, SaaS. It's an opinionated stack using convex and the latest Next.js framework, mono repo with focus on code reuse and best practices that will grow with your businesses. So let's say you wanted to get you know, an app running very, very quickly. Resend would be very, very useful for that. So this is one option. Now, one thing that you really do need is Stripe, of course. So this one here instead uses uh, Tailwind, Stripe, Tanstack, which I'm not even sure what Tanstack is, and Shad CN. 
So again, we could do exactly the same thing. This time we could do npm create convex at latest, dash t get convex convex sass. This is a production ready convex stack for your next SaaS application with Stripe integration, TAN stack, Resend, Tailwind CSS, and Shad CM. This is pretty much everything you need. As far as I know, there's nothing missing here. Now, I just, I'm not familiar with TAN stack. I won't lie to you guys. I don't actually know what TAN stack even is, right? But I mean, that's not a big issue. So, TAN stack, what is it? Tanstack query is often described as the missing data fetching library for web application, but in tech terms, it makes fetching, caching, synchronizing, updating the server state in your web application a breeze. Okay, so it looks like Tanstack is powered by React. So, I mean, I would personally be fine with using this. Um, so, yeah, I'm still trying to really hone down on the exact thing that I want to use for my project. This one does look pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This... Um, this starter kit here, I might actually just install this, but yeah, basically from what we've got at the moment, the local dev here on 3001, you can do whatever you want from this, right? You can either build on top of this or you can just use this as an example so that you know what the fuck is going on. I'm just, while I've got you guys here, let's just do one more thing. So CD dot dot, CD dot dot, and then let's do MKD, uh, tan stack, CD tan stack, oops. And stack, oh, God, and then we'll do npm create convex latest, and we'll call this uh, tan stack. So this should have absolutely everything inside it, and the fact that it has cursor rules as well is making me want to try this on cursor instead of Claude code. Okay, so this is now running. So we'll do cd tan stack npm run dev, and then this will do basically the same thing. So create a new project. We'll call it tan stack cloud development. And now we have another new project, right? In literally five to 10 minutes, we've created two projects, right? Okay, so there's an error here. You need to probably, okay. That's fine. We can do that in just a second. So it's added all of these tables, right? And then the only thing that seems to be missing is the API key. So I'm guessing somewhere on here. Okay, perfect. So I just set my Stripe, um, my Stripe secret key, obviously this is just a test key, so don't worry too much about it. Now if we go to localhost, perfect. So this already has Stripe set up, which is absolutely crazy, right? So let's continue with GitHub here. See if this works, maybe not. Okay, and now we can see that I am I'm logged in to this project. Okay guys, I understand what the problem was now. Basically I already had <clears throat> products on that secret key. So what it wants you to do is it wants you to start a brand new project, right? So just be aware of that when you're setting this up. Okay, guys, so there we go. This is now done. Now you can start to see how you can build extremely quickly using convex templates. You can get strike, you can get resend, all of this stuff extremely quickly and extremely easily. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.